All right, it's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. And we, we're thankful to the Lord that He's allowed us to come this way and thankful that we can read God's Word. And uh, it's a blessing to uh, see it more clearly in more than one way. Amen. And uh, ask your prayers uh, as I go back to uh, have the other eye fixed and then I'll have to have some more work done so be praying for me and, and the Lord will help me with these things we want to start our our, our 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 study this morning in the book of John to the 10th chapter it's uh to all that read their Bibles it's very familiar scripture in fact as a business the Bible is a familiar scripture to us that study it and but uh, always, always, if you listen close and put your mind away from the world, uh, you'll get a blessing. Amen. And it's just like uh, going to a table where that you've eaten all your life, but you still like to eat and Amen. you like to enjoy it, so you get a blessing from it. Well, anyway, so much for that. We want to start, start in verse 1 with chapter 10 of, of the book of John and, and in this uh, notice that even as he starts his this verse uh, chapter 1 it's in the form of a parable verily verily I say unto you he that entereth not by the door into the sheep's fold but climbeth up some other way the same is a thief and a robber. Now he's telling these people this and uh, the disciples is there and he's wanting to uh, let them know that well they knew about what the sheepfold was and they knew that it had a door and they knew what was stayed inside of it and uh, but he's using this as an example as he did off time when he spoke to his disciples but he says here that he that enters not by the door into the sheepfold but climbeth up by some other way is a thief and robber. And that would be that the the ones that would climb up over the top in order to maybe uh, steal some sheep or something, they would be considered a robber. But he's doing he's talking to them in a spiritual sense here when he's saying this that the only way to get into a sheep fold is through the door. Now he's he's still he, he's still he's still not they're still not understanding what he's saying, and so then he goes on to tell them something. He says, "I'm the door," mm -hmm. and he's talking about himself and not the sheepfold as much so as he is himself. And he's trying to explain to them that he, Jesus Christ, is the only way that a person can enter into. Uh, eternal life. Amen. And now this sheepfold was a protection from the critters and from the stealers and all of this during the night. But now he's using this and he says here, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Now the the door that we enter into is Jesus Christ. Amen. Not the sheepfold, but the door that we enter in is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is our shepherd. And he is the one that takes care of us. He's the one that watches Amen. over us. He is the one that guides us through this life. Now notice here, to, in verse 3, To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Amen. Now he's still using this sheepfold as an example, as, an, as a parable, but he's saying this this morning, to him that openeth the door, to him the porter openeth the door. In other words, uh, there has been someone back in his life that pointed the disciples to him and said, Behold the Lamb of God. And this is the porter which was a type of John the Baptist. When, when Jesus came down, 
to be baptized of John the Baptist. And John identified him. And listen, uh, as, we, as we speak on this just a little bit on baptism, uh, we are studying that in our afternoon service. Now, baptism is for identification. And this is what he's saying here, that the, the porter opens the door uh, uh, and, and the sheep hear his voice and they go out or they, the, the, uh, the, the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that calls them out. So he says in verse 4, And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yeah. Now, again this morning, we can follow false gods. We can follow false prophets. We can follow them. Listen, if a person is not saved by the grace of God, he will follow false prophets. Right. He will listen to false, false teachers. And so here he says, and when he put forth his own sheep, and that, that own sheep means those that are his. Not every sheep or not every person is the Lord Jesus Christ right. until they come to uh, know him as their Savior. But he says here, his own sheep, and if you would remember, uh, if you ever studied any about the sheepfold, there was more than one group of sheep that went into that uh, sheepfold. Right. Uh, maybe four or five different herds would go in there, and the, the shepherd of the sheep would stay uh, outside or go somewhere, and when he come back the next morning, the door would be open, and he'd call, and they would, the, the sheep there, they may be three or four, but the ones that the shepherd owned, he would call them, and they would know his voice, Amen. and they would hear him to come out. Amen. And so here he says here, and when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his, his voice. And this morning, if we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, listen, it's, it's, it's the best thing that we can do is to settle down and listen for His voice and not heed the voice of others. And listen, the world is talking to us. The world is, is bidding us to come out of the fold and to go with them. But listen, we need to listen to what the Lord Jesus Christ says and what Amen. He says. And here, you say, well, Jesus don't ever talk to me. Well, listen, He don't with an audible voice. But listen, he has, a, he has the Holy Spirit that He sends and He says, when I'm, I'm going to go to heaven and when I go, I'm going to send a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that Holy Spirit finds its dwelling place within us and He speaks to our hearts, to those that are saved, and He talks, up, talks to us and tells us what we need to do. And so here he says uh, uh, in verse 5, a stranger will not know, will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. Amen. And this morning, I'm sure that uh, we that are saved have heard the voice of strangers. And we have heard them try to uh, uh, tell things to us that wasn't true. Uh, the plan of salvation, uh, uh, all about baptism, about works, about uh, all the other things that uh, we know that they're not telling us the truth about, they tell us to us. They tell us, hey, it's, there's no reason to go down there at that church every Sunday. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Listen, we don't have to, but it's for our own need. Because listen, when we go down, come, come down here, we hear God's voice. We Amen. hear the Holy Spirit as He speaks to us. And we can, we can go away blessed. Or if we come in the wrong attitude, we can go away without anything. And so this morning, this is what here he says here, And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the stranger. Now listen, this parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. And then Jesus said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door. Amen. This should clarify anything about the 
the uh, uh, sheepfold that was out there and it should clarify who he was talking about and he, sp he spoke it plainly to them and he says then said Jesus to them verily verily I say unto you I am the door of the, sh of the sheep and all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them and he's saying this morning even in the law before grace was established through Jesus Christ that there was thieves and robbers that were telling people these false things and he says here that's what he's talking about he said all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers in other words they were telling they were telling him uh, the, the the law was that they had to keep it in order to uh, and they had to keep it but listen it was never for salvation right the law the law never could save all Amen. the law could do was condemn and he said in the in, in the book of Corinthians there about the law being our schoolmaster it taught us it taught them what was wrong and what was right but listen when they did something wrong it condemned them and there was no forgiveness and all they could do was make an, uh, an animal atonement and, 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 and the priest would offer it and the sins of them people was not forgiven, never forgiven, but were rolled back until Jesus Christ came and he paid the, uh, the sin debt. So here we see all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear him. I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastors Amen. and so this shows you this morning and tells us this morning jesus christ is the door he's the only entrance in and out he's the only way that we can uh, obtain salvation he's the only way that we can have peace within us this morning and so if if we if we uh if we have a disturbance in our souls we have him always to go uh to us and to uh we we can go to him and he can uh help us with that problem so now in verse 10 then the thief cometh not to for to steal and to kill the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. And this is why Jesus Christ, uh, one of the things that uh, Jesus come for is that we might have life. And the life that he was talking about was eternal life. It wasn't uh, just while we're living here upon this earth, but it's eternal life. And that's why he came and that we might have it more abundantly. Now, he says here also, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Amen. And we know this morning, we know uh, from we're studying God's word that Jesus Christ came to this world, lived 33 years or a little more, and he walked perfectly upon this earth. He was a perfect man in every way. He kept every jot and every tittle of the scripture. And he went to the cross and died for our sins. Amen. And the blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary covered our sins. Listen, the sin, the sin was never done away with. The sin, the sin could not be undone, but it could be covered with Jesus Christ's blood. And when God looks upon you and upon me that have been saved by the, the shedding of Jesus Christ's blood, He does not see that old sinful, uh, sinfulness in us anymore, but He sees Jesus Christ's Amen. blood. And listen, that blood is pure, that blood is perfect, and when God looks upon that blood and He recognizes that blood as His Son, Jesus Christ's blood, He can forgive through, through Jesus Christ. 
And so people this morning, we need to be we need to be closer to the Lord than what we are because listen, had not Jesus Christ agreed to come to this world and to live in the muck and the mar and the sin that he was not used to. He was with God in eternity and he agreed to come here and to live upon this old sinful world. Listen, if he had done that and had went to the cross and had his that thorns put on him, had the, all the criticism of all the Jews that he uh, would die for, Listen, if he hadn't done that, we would not have had any hope at all because when death happened, we would die and went to hell. Right. Because there's no there's no other there's no other way out. There's no other there's no other way, no nothing that will will, will pardon us or will cover our sins. So here he says in verse uh, ten, he, eleven, he says, I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Now here in verse 12. But he that is a hiring and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth them, scattereth the sheep. Now here is a situation this morning where it is very there's a whole lot of it going on and people don't recognize it. These hirelings, these hirelings are men that says they've been called of God. These men are some of them have went and, and went to school and got a diploma and saying that they are a qualified man of God, which they are not. And if there's no calling there, then there's no there's no pastor there. Right. There's no preacher there. But if these are harmings that do this for a job and they do it just to make money. They have no, most of them has no type of salvation. The most of them does not care about you or about me because here he says, if the harling sees the wolf a coming, he will leave the sheep. And so that is what uh, Jesus is trying to say here when he says, I give them everlasting life. He, he went to the cross and he faced the, the wolf, if you would, and he died for our, our sins and we were saved. But this harling, listen, this harling careth not for the sheep. Now, this is, this is something here this morning that I, I had scribbled down in my Bible, and I don't know where, where, where I mean anything, but it's the state the state of sheep being scattered. Now people, this country this morning is full of scattered sheep. Mm -hmm. They have chosen a harlan to be over them as their pastor. And listen, when, when others come in and uh, bring their, their sins into the church, he does not tell anybody anything about it. He does not say, hey, you're wrong or you're right. Listen, all he's interested in is that money that he gets in the box. And so these people, they're scattered and they're not hearing the truth. They're in a bad condition. And you know when, 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 a, when, a, when a sheep is scattered, listen, He's prey to everything out there. And right. I'm talking about a little sheep that's got wool on him. He is to the wolves and to the, uh, the weather and all this. But listen, we are one of those sheep too. Listen, we're the sheep of, of God. And, and, and listen, if we get in a condition and we get scattered and we're, we start laying out of church and we start listening to false doctrines and all of this stuff and we get, get out there in the, in the broom sage and the, and the hills and the hollers. Listen, we're open game for anything and everything that right. comes along. And so he says here, he says, the harlan fleeth because he is a harlan mm -hmm. and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. So, you this morning that are saved, you 
in, in, in your in your church you know that your pastor is is telling you what you need to hear because listen he's getting a message from God God is working through him and he's he and your pastor don't know all your needs and all your thoughts and what what you do like and what you don't like and he don't want to see you scattered listen he's telling you what you need to hear and he's praying for you and he's asking the Lord to, to guide him into what he's saying to you and you know this morning you should be the kind that would appreciate that and pray for him and say Lord you help him that he'll stay close to you because listen <laughs> Sometimes I know the pastors of churches, they get discouraged and they get disheartened and they get down and they get out. And so listen, what I'm talking to you about this morning is if he's standing in the, in the pit for you and, 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 ta and, and praying to God for you and that he can help you, you do the same for him. Amen. You, you help him and listen, this thing when it comes together, it will make a, it will make a good church. It will make a church that is 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 pleasing to the Lord because all is all is well because the Lord is leading the pastor and the pastor is leading you and you're following the pastor and you're praying for the pastor and that makes a perfect that makes a perfect cycle and, and all will be a whole lot better in the church. Now I tell you what uh, we 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 need to. We need to just stay real close and, and every, every time that we have an opportunity to come to church, we need to come to church. And every time that we have a, a, a day go over our heads, we need to study God's Word and, and feast upon it and listen. Sometimes you read it, you don't get nothing out of it. Four or five days down the road, you remember something you, you read in there and you'll understand it more clearly because God's word is true. Every word that you read in here is true. Amen. And so you need to, you need to practice these things. So here, here is the harlot and here is the pastor. And now notice in verse 15, as the father knoweth me, even so know I the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. Right. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also must I, I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Amen. And so as the the other sheep are of of, of other uh, the, like the Jew, the Jew will the Jew will eventually recognize God as their Savior and they will come but right now listen they still will not accept Jesus Christ but other other the, he's got other other churches that are are, are are serving him and one day they're going to all be brought into one group and they and, and it's going to be the bride of Christ for those that have that have served him like they should and it's going to be uh, the true church mm -hmm. and so this morning these are some of the things that that I've seen in this and I didn't have time to really get into it too close but I got one more thing I'm going to read in verse 17 therefore doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again no man taketh it from me amen and this 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 morning people uh, I said he, he volunteered he did it on his own no he says no man no man took it from me but I laid it down or I laid it down of myself I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again Amen. this commandment have I received of my father and so this is this is the lesson this morning and and I, I hope that there's something that's been read here that will will help you a little bit will uh, uh, make you realize what a good thing you have when you've got a good pastor when you've got a, a good church and listen you need to pray for that church you need to pray for the, this church here this Amen. morning and uh, 
other people that are out in the world maybe have a have an opportunity to hear this hey it's for them too if they're if they're sick at home and can't can't get in church they can pray for the church that they used to be in and mm -hmm. uh, and, and get a blessing for them. so thank you all this morning for listening and uh, continue to pray for one another